Hello, welcome to the video for what is volume, the level streaming volume. I'm going to go ahead and run through a quick little example. If we go ahead and hit play, you'll notice it says level streaming volume in front of me, but you don't actually see anything. For this example, I couldn't put in a physical representation because the camera would end up blocking it and we wouldn't be able to see. Now if I go forward to my volume, you're going to notice I have some things pop up in front of me, a little platform and a sphere. And if I was to go backwards, you'll notice it disappears. This is using a level streaming volume to basically stream in an additional map when we enter the level streaming volume. Now there is an additional video that covers level streaming in detail. It has some examples as well as the different ways of doing level streaming. But we're just going to simply cover the level streaming volume itself here in short detail. Now, the level streaming volume itself basically only has a few parameters. Now, as it is a brush, you can go ahead and change it to be other brushes, or brush sizes. You can have brush sizes and shapes. You can change the size. You can also change the shape, cylinders, curved stairs, boxes, things like that. For the most part, it's going to be a box because you're going to want it to encompass where the player is at in order to see the level streaming. Now, there is one caveat here. The camera, which is your visibility, is what determines if the level streaming volume is going to work or not. If you'll notice by default, my player starts off here, and I actually have the level streaming volume encompassing a pretty good chunk of this area. But you'll notice when I hit play, even though my player is in the volume right now, it's not working. Only when my camera, which is on a spring arm behind me, enters the volume, like this, is when you're actually going to be able to have the level streaming volume work. So that is one thing to keep in mind if you're having issues with the level streaming volume and you're using a third person camera. It's not really much of an issue if you're using the first person because the camera is on the player itself. In terms of options, down here you have your level streaming volume options. If you are using level streaming, you're going to have different maps inside of your persistent level. Down here under streaming levels, these are the levels that are loaded when we are inside of our streaming volume. Those are accessed by using your summon level details in your levels panel. And this is where you can add additional levels to stream. I'm not going to go into this very detailed because there are other videos covering this that I have done. But for the most part, when you enter the streaming volume, it will load up anything that you have told it to load up in the streaming volume section. And when you exit, it's going to go ahead and unload those. The options down here are basically if you want to see them for in the editor only, whether you want to disable it completely. Like for example, we have nothing loaded. But let's say later on we decide we want to change it or we want to make it where it's always loaded unless maybe there's a trigger or something. If we use disabled, the volume itself is disabled, which means any of the persistent levels and streaming levels are loaded automatically completely. They're not going to be triggered by the volume. Now, down here under streaming usage, you have a few different options. Basically, whether it only loads it, but does not show it. Whether it loads it, loads it and shows it. But this is done asynchronous, asynchronously, which means it's not going to stop what you're currently doing in order to load the map. It loads it in the background. We have visibility blocking on load. Basically, it's going to show it, but it's also going to block it when it loads. So that way the game will completely stop while it loads up. You have blocking on load, which means it's not going to be visible, but it will load it up and it will completely stop your game while it loads the map. And then you have loading, but not visible. Basically, this is going to load it up and not make it visible. So those are your basic options. That's all there really is for the level streaming volume itself. Like I said, I have covered in detail the different methods for level streaming. Please feel free to check out those videos. I will go ahead and link to those directly in the comments below description in the description below. And if you have any comments, please feel free to leave them below.